Now, it's now time for us to talk about the virtual Arab National Dialogue. It is the National Commission on Civic Education uh, collaborating uh, to make sure that we bring you this uh, great uh, interaction this morning. will be uh, from this morning. And, well, we have Ben Chirado, uh, head of uh, thought leadership right here, helping us to, to do many of the related discussions. And, and Ishara, thank you for joining me. Thanks How very much, you? Roland. I'm very well. How are you doing? I'm, I'm good. Wonderful. Now, uh, for the things that we have to talk about, uh, just take us through. I, 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 if you look at the concept, no, this is the seventh in the series. So yes, it is. So what's the history? Well, so the uh, NCC actually conducted uh, uh, some research. And, and in that period, uh, they were able to um, measure Ghanaian citizenry sentiments around accountability issue of governance and environmental uh, uh, um, integrity. Uh, and uh, what has that, that's now created the platform for a number of engagements that hopefully will empower citizens and also enlighten them about the things that affect us. And in this particular one, the theme is around the right to information bill. Now, the bill was passed last year. However, there's been issues around uh, the operationalization as well as uh, how the MMDCs uh, are going to be able to now provide their own audited information and what you and I have to do to ensure that when we require access to information, we're able to access it uh, in good time and without fuss. Uh, so the discussion today will be moderated by our own Samson Ladia and he has been doing this uh, since 2014. And uh, he will uh, be uh, working with Linda Kwafojiri uh, and a couple of others who will be discussing uh, all the issues around RTI, doing an appraisal of where we've come from and where we are right now. And more importantly, what things are required to ensure that the RTI bill satisfies the demands and the desires of Ghanaians when we thought that it was a necessary tool to have in our governance uh, structure. Uh, th 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 there is a, a related concern about how since we passed the RTI, we haven't been able to move forward. And, and that will be a considerable part of the discussion. It will certainly be a considerable part because, um, I mean, what's the point of having uh, a tool like that on paper without bringing life to it? The operationalization of the RTI is a critical part of ensuring that we're improving transparency. We're also an, uh, able to fight corruption. Now, a lot of things happen when there's too much uh, darkness. Mm. Now, the RTI allows us to access information uh, so that we can inform our, uh, our, our, our audience who make the, the, the greater uh, part of the citizenry. Uh, if we take the conversation further, it will mean that um, we're bringing the right sort of experts to bear or great speakers. Who will they be? Um, so let me, uh, my memory has uh, failed me a little, but oh, uh, okay. let me just refer to my notes uh, quickly. And uh, on here, we have uh, Samson will be moderating, mm -hmm. and then uh, we'll have uh, Linda um, Ofriquafo mm -hmm. of the uh, Ghana Integrity Initiative. Initiative. And then um, we have Honorable Ben Abdalabanda, mm -hmm. uh, who is the uh, MP um, and also Chairman of the Constitutional Legal uh, and Parliamentary Affairs Committee of Parliament. Mm. And he'll be joined, or they'll be joined by Ms. Mina Mensa. She's the Director, Africa Office of the Commonwealth Human Rights Initiative. Mm. And uh, as you can see, these are people who are coming in with uh, different perspectives uh, to the same conversation. There's the parliamentary uh, aspect of the conversation that, okay, the law has now been passed, but have we done what it takes to give the law life so that um, Every aspect is covered. Do we have the staffing across the regions? Do we have the resources to make sure that the information uh, that is, there's the, the a seamless transfer of information from the one requesting and the office facilitating its access? So there's quite a lot of things to be discussed uh, on, on, on the show today. And uh, it, it's going to take place? Right here in the studio. Uh, so Samson Ladi will be taking over from us uh, at 10. And uh, they'll be going all the way to 11.30. We'll also be live on the Joy uh, uh, FM uh, platform as well. So it will be simultaneously on radio and on television. And also online as well. Because Absolutely. We'll be, streaming. we'll be streaming. Well, thank you very much. And uh, Ishrado, Head of Strategic Partnership and Thought Leadership uh, for the Multimedia Group right here in the still, giving us all the latest updates. So now uh, for this conversation, you have to make sure that you make that time uh, with us at 10 a.m. And we're doing that for an hour and a half up to 11.30.
Uh, great information and education for us there mm -hmm. when we're having the virtual Arab interaction. And I know that all of us will be the better for it. But it's where we have to take a break. When we come back, we'll have more for you right here on the show.